Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today I'm talking about Neptune in retrograde. So let's talk about Neptune. Let's you get to get you some hard facts about when it's going into retrograde, when it's coming out of retrograde, a little bit of information about Neptune itself, and then we're going to be talking about some of the things that are going to be coming up during this pre-shadow time for us. And then I'm going to pull some angel cards and get us a little bit deeper insight into all of things Neptune and retrograde related. So let's get in there on some dates. So uh, Neptune and retrograde started March 4th, 2021. It will station full retrograde from June 25th through December 1st. And then after that, it will continue into its uh, post shadow and kind of start speeding up um, until March 21st of 2022. Um, Neptune will be uh, retrograding in its planet that it rules it, which is the sign of Pisces. And so this is going to kind of bring some um, enlightenment to us. It's going to bring some extra energy to us. And one of the things that it's going to do is it's probably for most of us going to start to amp up our spiritual side, um, our clairsensitive sides, our uh, clairaudience side. Things are going to start amping up in our um psychic gifts and kind of bringing um, some new issues or some new things as this starts to amp up during this retrograde cycle. One of the other things is that is kind of an interesting thing. While Neptune's in um, retrograde and this energy keeps uh, slowing down for us in post-shadow, we may feel like our personal boundaries are not as strong as they really should and we may end up dropping them because it's really hard, especially for clairsensitives. Um, we are easily uh, distracted and that boundary can kind of just disappear for us. This is something to really hold on to because if we let go of our personal boundaries, we may end up dealing with dishonest people, getting into schemes or scams that we didn't really wouldn't have been into, um, people cheating on us or kind of others bringing us um, illusions or um, interesting energy to us that isn't true or, or fair for us to deal with at this time. Uh, one of the things that's really interesting about uh, Neptune in retrograde is that it usually has this very soft spiritual kind of kick in the behind of what are you ready to amp up on your abilities and what's coming forward. Um, it not only happens for people like myself, but it will happen for other people as well. And that um, side will just start amping up on its own. One of the other things is, is Neptune is known as the dreamy blue planet. So Neptune's going to be affecting our dreams, um, especially in um, the pre-shadow and full retrograde. It's going to be amping up our dreams. We are going to have dreams not only in this life, that things that we thought we had dealt with or things that we thought we had put aside may come up. And then we also may have some dreams in some past lives. Now, dreaming in a past life can be very interesting energy for a lot of people because one of the things that happens is you'll have a dream about, you know, something back in Roman times and you'll feel really, really connected to it. And then you may even start seeing, um, wow, this is kind of related to what I'm dealing with with my sister or my brother or my coworker, whatever it is. And you'll start seeing those those lines of communication like, wait, this is a little bit more interesting than I thought. This is when you know that it's usually from a past life. <clears throat> the problem is it can still affect us. We need to work through that energy. One of the hard parts, though, is Neptune can bring up this delusion that it's not our problem. It's everybody else's problem. That's where it's wrong. Neptune is wrong in the fact that we expect others to change. If we don't like what they're doing, we expect them to change instead of changing ourselves. What we should be doing is changing ourselves and changing how we're reacting to this person or the situation or what's come about to happen and change us. Therefore, everybody else in the situation also is forced to make a change and not just ourselves. It's going to force everybody to do it. So let's get a little bit of information because I'll be talking um, every month a little bit about Neptune and retrograde and giving you a little bit more information or um, what I've heard from my clients or from myself. So let's start with this card. This one is all about playfulness. Neptune comes in and plays in our dreams and sometimes it can kind of give us this um, illusion of it's okay to play games or it's okay to kind of take a step back from a regular life. 
this can amp up our addictions. If you have an addiction to alcohol or gaming or drugs, it's going to amp up during this time frame because we'll kind of feel like, oh, I, I deserve to play. I deserve to do this. And it's not that you don't, it's got to keep it in balance with everything else. Listening, listening to your dreams, listening to what is coming up in your dreams, write your dreams down. I often tell people that are dreamers um, to um, jot down their dreams as soon as they wake up, everything that they possibly can and start bringing that energy in. I will tell you a little secret though. Next month in May, as we get closer to Neptune going in uh, more into retrograde and affecting us even more, I am going to start to decipher some of your dreams. So be looking for that on my newsletter. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter, go ahead and do so. I'll have a link below for you to do that. But I will be doing dream interpretation um, at least once a month on my Thursday Night Live event um, during uh, Neptune in retrograde. And that is a great way to kind of get the full story or what's about to happen. Retreat. Retreat is a really interesting one and I get is this is all about our personal boundaries. When we take a step back from our personal boundaries, when we retreat from our personal boundaries, a lot of times people will go, oh, the fence is down, we can run over. It's really not. Rethink that fence. Rethink what you're bringing into your life. Rethink what you have been dealing with or doing in this area. And if it's a personal bounty that you continue to have to have with someone, then you need to stay in that energy. You need to stay really, really strong in that. And I know that's most difficult for our clear sensitives, but I will tell you, it's something that you can definitely do. I thank you so much for joining me and I know that we'll be talking again soon.